Welcome back to another Inform Analysis. Today we are looking at Clayton Donaldson of Brentford. Now we've got him in this team where you may be quite familiar with if you've seen my Wales review and you may be familiar again if you're going to watch my Andy Frampton review that will be coming up either tomorrow or the day after hopefully. But back on to Clayton Donaldson. Now I have him in this team as a right winger. I've kept him as a right winger to encourage him to attack even more and I have the sniper chemistry on him to improve his shooting and his dribbling. Now if we get into his card stats, he has a 79 pace, 66 dribbling, 69 shooting, 44 defending, 58 passing and 62 heading. He has freestyle weak foot, freestyle skills, stands at 6 foot 1 tall and medium medium work rate and he is right footed. Now I paid 100,000 for this guy which is shambolic because he goes for probably between 15 and 20,000 now I would advise you to get him for the cheaper price and obviously I did I've played 12 games with him scored seven times only got one assist and one yellow card no red cards I think I've actually got more than one assist with him and actually more than 12 goals uh, sorry seven goals it's just people back out and I have to dashboard when they back out I don't understand the logic of that but that's what's happened so let's get into his game stats skill attributes to focus on first he has 82 finishing which is his standout and 74 long shots so the two main ones here as well is 78 shot power um, and that is honestly about the only things that stand out in his skill attributes. Now onto his mental attributes, his aggression of 54, interceptions a lousy 35, attacking position of 73 and vision of 67 is not too bad for a silver card. But his main things are his physical attributes here as you see is 82 acceleration, 84 agility which are the two standouts. Again, 74 strength, which I'll tell you right now, he plays a lot above that, and 74 reactions, as well as the 66 balance. There are three other things that he plays well ahead. So let's get into the clips. So we're going to be looking at three things I deem important to be a winger on this game, as he is set as a right winger. The first of all is shooting, as you just see there, he pings it in the top corner. Second of all is dribbling, and third of all is crossing, just because it is so overpowered on this game. Now, we'll focus first on his shooting, and his big con with his shooting is that right foot. That right foot of his is absolutely incredible so often he carries a ball from deep and just pings it and he gets so much shot power behind it it's just unbelievable this is a great goal he has the agility the turn of foot and what a finish that is, that is. now often enough he uses the outside of his right foot which is perfect because he's only three star weak foot which means when he cuts in from outside on the wing as he is a right winger instead of a striker now when he cuts in with his right foot he hits it on the outside of his foot as opposed to his left foot and it goes in now that goal there was just an absolute joke but that is another one of his positives is his strength he just absolutely bossed all of that and here again he's so unlucky with his left foot time and time again just so unlucky with his left foot but his strength and his i don't want to say well it is sort of his turn of foot his acceleration isn't even that good but his dribbling ability to sort of stop and go the other way swiftly enough causes absolute mayhem for the other team as again we go so close there with his left foot but we score some absolute screamers with the outside of his right foot what a strike that is and it gets better this here is so unlucky and time and time again he just did it cutting off the wing and coming in and this was just the ultimate goal for me he won the ball back there and it's just nice build up here play to get himself into the middle as he cut into the middle often enough and what a strike that is now i did play this guy in a right wing role, in a right mid role, and in a centre forward and can roll, just because his card can do all of them. So some of the clips he does originally start in the middle, just so you know, and you can mix them around. So second of all, this is just his general team play and dribbling. Now it's just nice little link up left, right, and centre. Now my dribbling's not the greatest, but you'll see from some of these clips, hopefully what I'm trying to emphasise here um, is you know just how well he links up with the other team now i have gone overboard in some of these clips and i do lose the ball quite a lot because as i just said my dribbling is not fantastic but his strength and his dribbling means if he loses the ball slightly he can always get the ball back and that was great play there but he cut himself too far out and the left foot was atrocious but again they're just beating the defender time and time again comes into the box and again it's just too much for myself late on could have probably cracked it, could have laid it inside, and it would have been a decent opportunity. And there, there again is just showing his strength, powering people off the ball. People have no chance. And to believe that this guy only has 74 strength is just laughable. This guy is one of the strongest players I've ever seen in real life. And on the game, he actually feels that, even if his card stats do not necessarily show that. So as you see there, it's just clips time and time again with his dribbling. Somebody that's a lot better at dribbling than me will do these a lot more successfully than me. And... He does dribble in the box here, and as he goes to hit it, he does get crunched, and we win ourselves a penalty, which is just my cue to tell you that I missed this penalty pretty much. So that was unfortunate. But, you know, minus his general team player and his dribbling, I decided I was going to get some of his crossing in there. This is just the last of his general team player, and that was unlucky down the chip. Now, I don't tend to cross the ball too often. I don't like doing it. Um, 
and the fact that I got Nicky Wells or Nicky Wells or who, however you say, you say his first name after the guy told me last time I was saying it wrong. I apologise for that. Uh, I don't cross it too often and I don't have the players to cross, but I decided I would do because it's such an overpowered part of the game that is used so often by other people that I decided that, you know, maybe I should throw some of the clips in there that are crossing. And his crossing is actually pretty decent as well as his um, team play and his through balls. All of it is pretty decent. And as you saw there, his movement to get down the wing there, that ball there that he just scored with was actually to him. Nicky Wells gets himself in the way and scores the goal. But his crossing was another thing that was very impressive with me. Time and time again, just whips the ball in the box. But as I said, first of all, I can't header. That's probably one of my issues. And my second issue is the fact that I've got such small players in the box that they're never realistically going to get on the end or do much from it. And when they do, as you've just seen there, I bottle it. So I'll just continue to slowly ramble on here and sum it up as we do get ourselves a good goal here with Nicky Wells as the last tip. Now I would give this guy an 8 out of 10. I paid way too much for him at the moment. I paid way, way too much as you would have seen. I think you can now get him for 20 grand and honestly he's worth every coin of that. He's so good down the wing. He's powerful. He can cut inside and he can hit a deadly shot off him. I would highly recommend this guy an 8, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. So I would go and buy him if I was you guys. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you heard, saw and whatnot, give me a like, give me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you all next time.